Okay, on the screen now you see the configuration that's delivered in the, uh, this, the device test that comes with the program. So if I go to the um, select template over here on the left, and I touch that, you can see all the ones I have in here. The one that's actually installed when you put the program in from the Android market is called the device test right here. So if I click on that and say use, it's going to use those parameters here. The parameters in the device test are shown here. So we want to be able to show it to you working pretty quickly. So uh, frequency per hour is 40 times per hour. It's random. The minimum time is zero. They're going to wait one minute. Missed if it's two. Uh, sampling study, yes. And we're using the count. We're using the rating so we can show you all the features. We set up these default start and stop times so you can run it more or less any time. And it's set to observer base sampling, this option here. Uh, Self-sampling would be if you just wanted to do it yourself. I'll explain the difference to that in a moment here. And so we have all that information down in the device now. And I'm just going to click on the Open Last Use Study right here. And you can see I've already made uh, some observations here. right? So you can see the device test. And the study is called ASD. And I've already made six observations. If I click on the Start Sampling now, the advantage of this, of course, is I don't have to wait so long because uh, it's very quick here. So I can show you the different features right here. Now it says Sampling in Process here, meaning that it's working. And uh, now it shows me the next sample at date here, right? It's showing me that because I have observer sampling uh, shown here. Uh, if you are doing observer-based sampling, in other words, you're observing other people, it helps to know maybe when the next sample is so that you can plan accordingly. So in other words, you can go and do some other work or anything else you might want to take care of waiting, knowing that you have some time here. Right now, it's counting down to this particular time here. Remember, also we can set the vibrate here. So if you're working in a loud environment, check the vibrate here, and it will stay on during the course of your study. So it will actually vibrate for you to let you know when you have to make the study here. So now we're going to do is just going to wait for this to, to come down here to the uh, to make the data collection here. Okay, so we should be coming up any second now to the sampling, and um, you should hear the device beeping. You know, it's beeping there, it also vibrated in my hand here. And then it switched over, and now it's presenting to me my various options. We can come back over here to the element screen. And let's look back at the uh, the device here. And move that over. So you can see my first level items are the mixer, the filler, the packaging one, packaging two, machine minder, and they're all displayed here. So you'll see also down at the bottom my OK and my notes are grayed out, meaning I can't make any entry right now. So if I, for instance, I tap on the mixer, and let's say that machine is running, right? So you can see I'm on my second level. Here are my second level options. I select that. Now, as soon as I make that, that's the, an end selection. It appears down here, mixer is running. And now my OK notes is available to me. If the count is 1 and my rating is 100, I'm just going to hit the OK, and it records that transaction. Now I go to the filler machine. Now let's say the filler is under maintenance. So you can see here there's maintenance and then there's options under that. So I touch maintenance. You can see it building the string down at the bottom here. So there's the filler maintenance. And now it says, are we waiting? Are we under repair? So let's say we're waiting on repair. So we click that. As soon as I make the final level selection, these this completes and these become active again. And then I can hit the OK. And it puts it away. Now it's waiting for the next one. So I'd now go to my packaging one. So I'm going to click on the packaging one. It puts it down here, and let's say it's idle at the moment. So we just click on idle. Now watch down here when I do the idle. It puts it down there, then we click on the OK, and it puts it away again, right? And now we're going to go to the packaging too, right? And it's running. So you see, it can be very quick to do the observations here. Now, the key thing that you should know is that um, as you make every entry, the actual second that that entry has been made is being recorded in the database. So now we're on to the machine minder. And the patro guy patrolling, he's walking around looking at the machines. So we click on that here. Right? And then we can make the OK here. Put it away. All right. And then there we do machine minder 2. Right. He's attending to machine. Right. And here you can see down at the bottom here, if I go down to this guy, uh, machine minder 2 right here, you can actually identify which machine he's working with. Right. So let's say he's um, back on this guy. And we bring them back up the device, the uh, handheld device. And let's say he's working on the filler, which is the one that was waiting for repair. So we click on the filler, and it tells you down at the bottom what he's doing. And then we click on the OK. Right? So that's basically the idea. You, you click around making your selections, 
and you just make your entries here. Now, if you were doing self-sampling, uh, you would um, uh, you would only be able to make one observation because obviously you can only be doing one thing at a time here. When you click on the exit, it goes back in and now it figures out when the next sampling is going to be. In this case, it's going to be at 10.40 and, 51, and 15 seconds here.